to really appreciate the star beauty of this unique volcanic island. I've got a special day planned. So, now we're gonna go to the place that the goodness of the earth shows up in a glass. A winery. Look how many acres and acres and acres there are of vineyard. It's so crazy and beautiful to see the contrast of color between the dark color of the ash and the bright green of these plants. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. I love this, come on. You've never seen vineyards like this. We are heading inland to La Geria, the center of Lanzarote's wine growing region. How in the world can they grow grapes here? Well, because these people in Lanzarote, they became amazing in maximizing what this land can produce. ¿Qué pasa, chavalote? Cristobal Sanchez is a well-known restaurateur who manages a vineyard right here in La Geria. Be careful, be careful. We'll go this way, I think it's more easy. Yep, he needs the easy way. It's so leave four meters, it's to go down there. What happens if I cannot leave the crater? Well, you <laughs> stay there and roast like a pig. I love you too. Here we don't have any wings. Wow. These man-made craters house the vines in the subsoil underneath the top layer of volcanic ash. We have different grapes here. The more important for us is the Malvasia. 19% for us is the white. 90% of is the wines white? you produce are white. It's, it's a good one. Is that some moisture in the leaves? Oh, yes, because in the nighttime, the temperature changes here. A lot. A lot. Very drastic. Here is no water. You have to understand that. It's no water. Yes. Como se dice humedad? Humidity. Humidity in the, in the nighttime. That's it. Incredible. These vines survive without rainwater or irrigation. Their only source of precious water is at night, when the colder temperatures release moisture into the air and the vines absorb the dew. With 240 years behind it, Bodega El Grifo is the oldest winery in the Canary Islands. All the work is done by hand, and they produce only 350,000 bottles of wine a year. It's great wineries in Canary Islands, it's great wineries in Lanzarote, but even better, the one we're going, ha, has no equal. I am excited to try some of this wine. It's That's so windy. Place, right? That's Lanzarote. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? Fermín, amigo. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Es verdad. Fermín Otamendi is the fifth generation owner of Bodega El Grifo and a well-respected connoisseur of Canarian wines. Okay, ladies, let's get tasting. You know, I love the label. Yes. Malvasia Volcanica. So you won't find this anywhere else anywhere. in the world. There's a point. It smells a little bit uh, sweet, yes. but the taste is not. It's not. When grapes are grown in a climate like this, the sugars are concentrated in the grapes, so the taste is crisp and sweet. You know that the founding fathers drank wine from here, from the Canary Islands, from Lanzarote. He's not making that up? No, 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 no it's true. Oh, I thought he was making it up. Hello. <laughs> this winery was founded in 1775. So this winery was founded one year before America became independent That's and true. became a country. That's true. Uh, this winery has been independent before America became independent. Boom. Well, Way to go, Dad. You sure know your history. I love this wine. For me, Drier, more mineral wines are my favorite. Yeah, and there is also a bit of uh, salinity. Yeah, you can smell almost like the sea breeze the sea in breeze. the wine. 